Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. I have some free cards by mail to open up today. These ones came in a yellow bubble mailer. Excited to see what's in here. Pack's actually pretty heavy. Like there's quite a few cards on the inside. So I'll pull everything out here. Looks like there's a note. And then several small packages. So I'll read the note first and then show the packages. Oh, and there's a Roaring Skies pack here, and it looks like it's a sealed pack. So, it says, pretty long note here. It says, Dear Mr. Primetime, Thank you for having an awesome channel that I look forward to watching every day. Your Poketube channel was the first one I ever watched. One day I searched Base Set Booster Box, and your channel popped up. Then before I knew it, three hours had gone by. I am 25 years old, so seeing the original packs opened brings back good memories. Same for me. That was a main reason I really wanted to open up that base set booster box on YouTube. So it says, I've messaged you a few times over the last month or so, and thanks to you, I started my own channel. I already have over 140 subs. That's a pretty good start. Thanks for the... Thank you for the inspiration. I included cards in a sealed booster pack for you to open. Thank you again. Corey's Card Craze. And it says, P.S. Sorry for the bad handwriting. Wasn't too bad. I could read that quite well. So like I said, one sealed booster pack. And I'll open this last. And then four packages here of cards. So it looks like regular ra rares here. There is commons, trainers, energies then there's uncommons and lastly hollows and ultra rare so I'll open that one last and then I'll do regular rares and then I'll start off with this one that has commons in there save the best for last just like I do when I open the booster packs moving the rare and reverse hollow to the back of the pack so bear with me here while I cut through and rip through here. It looks like right on the top of this one, there is a signature card, Corey's Card Craze, on a Charmander. Then we move on to Tepig, Charmander, Coughing, Ekans, so some older cards right off the back. These ones are Team Rocket. There's Grimer, Tangela, Oddish. Bellsprout, Ekans, Zubat, Bulbasaur, Venonat, Paris, so some old school cards right here, Nidoran, there's a Staryu, Psyduck, Shelder, Horsey, Ammonite, Goldeen, Poliwag, Geodude, and a Rhyhorn. That's only about half the stack right there. And the second half of the stack has Cubone right here in the top. Then there's a Mankey, real high HP there with 30. Meowth, Jigglypuff, there's an Eevee, Spiro, Magnemite. And the quality of these cards are very good compared to the newer Pokemon Company cards. There's Magnemite, Slowpoke, Abra, Ghastly, Drowsy. Potion, so now we're on to the trainers and energies. Potion, Switch, Gust of Wind. There's an Energy Search. Recycle, Gambler, Pokeball, Bill, Grass-type Energy, Lightning-type Energy, and a Psychic-type. And you can see these are all from Base Set 2. Have opened a Base Set 2 booster box on YouTube before. I actually opened up all of the oldest sets up to the Neo series sets. I've really opened only, I need five more booster boxes to open up to open one of every single booster box on YouTube. So this is the package that had uncommons in it. Starts off with Magmar. There's an Omastar. Weepin' Bell. Sea King. Machoke. Farfetch'd, Gloom, and those are two of the cards there. I remember I was finally able to get a Charizard from base set when I was younger, fifth grade I think I was in, and I made a trade, got that Charizard, went to school the next day, and I traded that Charizard away from it for an Alakazam, base set Hollow, and then a Gloom and a Sea King 
uncommon just because quantity to me was higher than quality at the time definitely not a good trade nowadays so there's gloom needlerina cedra haunter i've always liked the looks of this card there's a rhydon arcanine cadabra dark cadabra don't make many cadabra cards anymore energy retrieval plus power the boss's way imposter oaks revenge full heal mr fuji and a super potion. Now I'm looking forward to this package of rares here, especially if they're staying true to only the older sets in here. Like I said, I really prefer all the older stuff. Now right on the top is a newer card, but it is of an older Pokemon, Zapdos, one of the three legendary birds. There's a Victini, Zatu, another Zatu, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Articuno, I like that card quite a bit. Beedrill, there's a little bit of older card, base set Beedrill. And there it is right there, Scoop Up Trainer. A lot of rare trainer cards in base set, base set 2. It was always a good time buying, saving up for a booster pack like that and leaving a trainer card in the rare spot. And there weren't reverse hollows back then, so you're really out of luck just getting a trainer like that. So last pack here, hollows, ultra rare. And then, of course, we have that Sealed Roaring Skies booster pack. So, last one here, protected by the top loaders. I'm going to try and get everything out there. Then I can show these two cards last. Okay. Now, some of these are in sleeves. So, start off with a Tropius. There's an Executor. And these are Reverse Hollow cards. Haunter. There is a Dragonite. Superior Radiant Collection. There's a Gardevoir. Jirachi. So, newer stuff here. This is Generations. Frostlass. Team Magma's Camerupt. Team Aqua's Walrein. Team Magma's Claydol. Raichu. Pretty nice card right there. There's a Trakian. Another version of Trakian. Reshiram. Metapod. And a Reshiram. Now on to the two cards and holders. What I'm going to do, I can sort of see what this back one is. I don't know what this one on the front is though. So we'll go like that. And we'll go like that. Okay, so the first one here is a very nice Charizard Radiant Collection subset Generations Pokemon card. I was really excited to pull this card the first time I pulled out of a pack. Surprisingly, only an uncommon rarity. And then the second card here, I'll knock it down here, is ooh, a Meow Stick EX. That's a nice card right there. Like I said, very good cards overall, and I still have a booster pack to open up. And of course, the card that I'd want most from here would be Shame and EX Full Art. Very valuable card, worth $40 to $50. But since they sent along a sealed pack like this, anything is a good pull out of here. So there was the code card, and I give away codes on my blog every single day. Okay, first card here is a Natu, followed by Wingle. There's a Fletchling, Bagon, Electrike, Winona, Unpheasant, Fletchinder, Reverse Hollow is a Gliscor. That is an uncommon. You can see that the pack was probably sealed. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's a bunch of ridges right there. It's probably sealed too close to the cards. And then the final card here is a Dustox Ancient Trait non hollow So thank you very much to Corey's Card Craze for sending me these free cards by mail. Definitely do appreciate it. And brought back a lot of memories for me as well. Having a lot of cards being from the first few sets of Pokemon. So thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, as well as a link to this person's YouTube channel. So thanks everyone for watching. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.